the, the Let me ask thing. you. What, when you go back to the Bible. Here we right? go. Did yeah. you catch it? <laughs> did did you guys catch it? He said in his in the other video he watched, "Hey, when Christians bring up the age of Aisha, flip it back on the Bible and be prepared yeah. to lie." He didn't say be prepared to lie. He acted like like he was giving them accurate information. Uh, but what did he do here? He's being challenged on this. And what does he do? Go back to the Bible. Watch this. So let's see what he does. Let me, let me, so let me, the, 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 let me the, ask you, what, when you go back to the Bible, right? Yeah. Do you have people that were married under the legal age today in the Bible? When we go what? In the Bible. Historic references in the Bible. What about, what right, about anyway. Let's do this. Yeah, if you look at marriage in the biblical marriage tense. Marriage in the Bible. If so you look at Joseph and his child marriage, marriage. Ah, how old his bride he was. He just gave an example, Joseph. I assume he's talking about Joseph, the husband of Mary, and not Joseph in the Old Testament. But uh, let's see. But if you look at marriage in the biblical tense, uh -huh. if you look at Joseph and his marriage, how old his bride was, have you studied that? No, I don't know. Okay. Why don't you look at that before you come and talk about the Prophet Muhammad? First off. Secondly, Mary, why don't you? Married, no, she wasn't. No, she... Mary about wasn't. Twelve, according to Catholic text. Look at now. He's talking about Mary. We respect Mary. We respect the prophet. Really? Is that what you guys constantly lie? Well, let's see what he says. You come and talk about the prophet Muhammad. First off. Secondly, Mary, why don't you? No, she wasn't. No, was she... About twelve, according to Catholic text. Look it up. Look, look it up, up. guys. Whenever look it anyone. Up. Whenever Sheikh Uthman, this is just a rule, guys. Whenever Sheikh Uthman says, look something up, you had better look it up. Because he says it with the expectation that you're not going to look it up. Like, he thinks you're just going to trust him. Oh, he's if I'm saying look it up, he's going to think it's really there. He does this constantly. Oh, it's there. It's there. Look it up. Look up my footnote. What happens when you actually look up what he says? He gets exposed every time. And that's about to happen right here, my friends. Let's see what he claims. Look it up. That's your interpretation. No, no, no. Catholic what text. Catholic get get, get the Catholic Encyclopedia the and Catholic look up the Age of Mary. I got I to gotta do some Excellent. stuff over here. At the you want me to give you the video so you can learn or you just want to... Are you going to be here next week? I am, but... What is he still doing? Do you want to learn? Are you the sort learn. of person who wants to learn? If so, then you should check out my video if you want to learn. If you want to... AKA if you want to be lied to. You don't want to watch the video first? No. Right now. Uh, it's a video on YouTube. You don't have to carry it. Well, how am I... You have YouTube? Oh, when you're saying, okay. Yeah, it's my video. So my, okay, there you go. That way you can have some better... Yeah, can you put it? That at the time of her marriage Masjid? to Joseph, Mary put was 12 to 14 years old, and he oh. was 90 years old. Oh! Joseph was wait, 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 did you catch that? Oh. That's Sheikh Uthman's buddy. What, what? Guys, did y'all catch this? Yeah. He doesn't have the mic on him, so it's a little harder to hear, but let's back up. This guy, this guy quotes the Catholic Encyclopedia, the article on Joseph, saying 12 to 14. This guy quotes it, and Sheikh Uthman's going, oh, oh, oh. Ready? Because guess what? W guys, this is, you just have to get in the, you just have to get in the habit of looking up with these sources because you're dealing with liars here. Let's back this, back this up. Some better, yeah. Can you, put and you, you, you can see his buddy over there on the side, and he's looking, he's looking for it. He's looking up the reference. That at the time of her marriage Masjid? to Joseph, uh, Mary it's my video. Oh my Some, there okay, there you go. That way you can have some better. Yeah. Can you put it? That at the time of her marriage Masjid? to Joseph, Mary put was 12 to 14 years old, and he oh. was 90 years old. Oh, 12 to 14, and he was oh. 90. Oh. Look at Sheikh Uthman. Oh. Why, why don't you look up the Catholic oh. encyclopedia? This is on the age of Mary. So this is the closest you get. This is the closest you get. Closest you get. From the age at which Hebrew maidens became marriageable, it is possible that Mary gave birth to her son when she was about 13 or 14 years of age. No historical document tells us how old she actually was at the time of the nativity. Notice what they're saying. They're saying it was it was 12 years and six months was considered the bare minimum, the bare minimum age. 12 years and six months was considered the bare minimum age in first century Israel for a marriage proposal. Therefore, she couldn't have been younger than that. And so what they say, they say she it, it's possible. It's possible just going with the customs that she could have been young. But there's no historical document telling us how old she was. So.
All right, did you guys catch that? So Sheikh Uthman says, go to the Catholic Encyclopedia. We went to the Catholic Encyclopedia. The Catholic Encyclopedia said there's no historical source on the age of Mary. We don't have one. Based on the customs of the time, she would have had to have been 12 and a half at a bare minimum. But apart from that, she's called a, she's called a woman. She could be 16. She could be 20. We don't know. We have nothing to go on except for the fact that she's called a woman. But then this guy, he actually uh, quotes the Catholic Encyclopedia saying 12 to 14 and Joseph was 90. And when you got the Joseph was 90 there, that's how you know they're talking about the article on Joseph. And he says, that's what the Catholic Encyclopedia says. She was 12 to 14. Joseph was 90. Are we going to mindlessly believe them or <laughs> or should we actually have we learned our lesson and we're actually going to look up what they say? Let's go to the Catholic Encyclopedia. Here we go. This is from the article on Joseph. It will not be without interest to recall here, unreliable though they are, the lengthy stories concerning St. Joseph's marriage contained in the apocryphal writings. And then he gives a description. When 40 years of age, Joseph married a woman called Melka or Eska by some, Salome by others. They lived 49 years together and had six children, two daughters and four sons, the youngest of whom was James the Less, the Lord's brother. A year after his wife's death, as the priests announced through uh, Judea that they wished to find the tribe of Judah a respectable man to espouse Mary, then 12 to 14 years of age. Mary was 12 to 14 years of age when they start looking for a respectable man to marry her. Joseph, who was at the time 90 years old, went up to Jerusalem among the candidates. A miracle manifested the choice uh, God had made of Joseph. And two years late, wait, two years later, the Annunciation took place. So she would have been even older, right? Oopsie. Wait, it, well, that doesn't work. Huh. Yeah, two years later, the Annunciation took place. So she would have been even older. These, no, but now notice, here's what you, here's what they leave out. I mean, they leave out the two years later, but these dreams, as St. Jerome styles them, from which many a Christian artist has drawn his inspiration, are void of authority. <laughs> they nevertheless acquired in the course of ages some popularity and some ecclesiastical right and so on. Notice, notice, they are void of authority. They're stories. They even call them dreams, meaning fantasies. And you go back up uh, to the beginning. It will not be without interest to recall here, unreliable though they are, saying later people made up stories and they had an agenda. People, what people were asking for many for for centuries to come about the Catholic belief in the the perpetual virginity of Mary. So the question is, well, why didn't Joseph have sex with Mary after she gave birth to Jesus? And so. Later on, they came up with stories and they would just say, ah, well, you know, he was really old and he was just basically taking care of her as a daughter. And so notice, according to these Catholic stories, they never had sex. There was never any sex. Uh -huh. And he's just taking care of her because she needs someone to take care of her. And he's 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 an old man. And so but notice what notice what the Dawa guys will do, because this guy went to this source, which specifically says. These sources are unreliable. They're fantasies. They have no authority whatsoever. The same book that says there is no historical source on the age of Mary. They'll go right to the middle of this paragraph and they'll see, up, oh, tribe of Judah, respectable men to espouse Mary, then 12 to 14 years of age. They'll leave out saying, oh, two years later, the Annunciation took place. They'll leave all of this out and just say, you see, she was 12 to 14 and Joseph was uh, 90. The Catholic Encyclopedia says she was 12 when uh, when she was married.